my journey, much like a game of chess, strategic, personal, and influenced by cultures near and far. The textures of Africa, its art, its spirit, echoes in the spaces I inhabit. The spaces around me are reflections, fragments of my journey that begins in Taipei and found its use in South Africa. There, amidst the frames, is St. John's College, a place that holds dual memories of awakening artistry and confronting adversity. St. John's, not as a school, but a foundation, a cornerstone of my early experiences and understanding of the world. From Taipei to Johannesburg, my artistic journey brought me to a whole new canvas, a place of diverse cultures and art, opening up myriad possibilities. School life wasn't what I imagined. Alienation, bullying, they made me cherish moments of solace found in art. At St. John's, the only Asian in my class, I faced shadows of prejudice. But art became my voice, my resistance. My school years, filled with challenges, also brought forth encouragement. This recommendation letter from the headmaster was the highest form of recognition for me. East meets West meets Africa. In clay, I found a canvas to express these confluences. The duality of East and West, tradition and innovation, expressed through my art, became symbols of my diverse journey. Every brush stroke is an echo a testament to my experiences, blurring the lines between cultures, painting a narrative that is both global and personal. From my early days at age six, Taipei Flower Market was more than a market to me, it was a classroom. A place where my affinity for plants grew and where every visit deepens my bond with nature. It all began with a simple mango seed planted in my Taipei home. As it grew into a sturdy trunk, so did my aspirations. That very tree propelled me to pursue a master's in landscape architecture at Harvard. But with the fragrance of flowers came the sting of thrones amidst acceptance. I faced isolation at St. John's, but I learned resilience. My grandfather's teachings on Zen and meditation became my sanctuary, guiding me through storms grounding me in serenity. From the vibrant flower markets of Taipei to the historic hallway of St. John's, from the profound depth of Zen meditation to the expansive embrace of global cultures, my life has been a canvas, each moment a brushstroke, every challenge and triumph, a layer of colors and textures As I stand here amidst my creations, I am reminded that 
the artist's journey is never complete. There are more stories to tell, more horizons to explore. Join me as this canvas continues to evolve, as our stories interweave into a vast tapestry of life.